Now, the card that is going to bring back nightmares from FIFA 20 for a lot of people, 86 Ryan Kent, who is 5 star, 5 star, 97 pace, 83 shooting, 85 passing, 90 dribbling. We get the walkout. It's not a foot birthday card, it's not a team of the week. It's going to be French striker. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael, aka The Crusher. It's Friday, it's team two of foot birthday. Let's get straight into the video. And as always, when we're loading in, we'll show you the screen. We can see five cards there. Kent, Modric, Stilling, Awar, and Adama, Traore. It was a nice, dynamic image. So we'll load in and hopefully it shows everyone here. Yes, it does. You've got Sterling, Modric, Awar, Palinho, Adama, Traore, Emre Chan, Gunter, Bernadeschi, Kent. And I can't remember for life what the other two were. So yeah, let's get into the foot birthday team too. Uh, before we go into that, I'll show you the objective, which is uh, Chaudhry of Leicester City. Uh, 87 CDM with 80 pace, 80 dribbling, 80 passing, 87 defending, 88 physical, uh, and that's all in uh, managerial masterpiece. So pretty straightforward. Uh, obviously, I had the Mandanda one as well, uh, and I don't think there's anything else new. Uh, nothing on season's progress. Nope. It always freezes when I do this. It's so annoying. So for some reason, the game freezes when I go on season progress at times, uh, but there's no new active event, and obviously that stays the same as ever. Let's check milestones. That's one thing I haven't looked at. Uh, no, nothing in that either. So, SBC is, as expected, Dimitri Payet. Uh, and it's it's a good card. 89 overall, uh, 85 pace, 88 shooting, 91 passing, 91 dribbling, 75 physical, 4 star, 5 star. There's it in games. Pretty, pretty solid card. Uh, but And it's only one squad this time, but it is an 86 squad. A minimum of one French player and 70 chem. So, I believe uh, I've got footbin in front of me. It's costing about 200k on Xbox at this moment in time. Next to him is two of the new cards from today as well. We got a uh, Play of the Month Kelechi, which is three squads, uh, an 80, 83, and an 85, uh, and that is currently coming in at 200k on Xbox as well. And then Kareem Benzema, 94 League at Play of the Month, which is a pretty decent card, uh, an 83 and an 85 squad, and 182k at the moment. So there's a plus eight rating in the difference between the two cards, but the Prem tax adds another 20k onto that. Um, right, anyway, Foot Birthday Team 2. So we've also got two packs to open. We've got my Icon Swaps packs, which is the 82 times 25 and the 83 times 25 as well. So we'll start with Shoudery. That's his in games. So it's, it's fairly average. Stick an angel in him, it'll do the job. And as a free card, it's not too bad, whether it be for fodder or if you're in full and tradable, uh, like I'm looking to do at this moment in time. So we'll start at the bottom where I put in as the bottom. I will start with Paulinho, a 90 rated centre mid. 81 pace, 87 shooting, 87 passing, 91 dribbling, 86 defending, and 91 physical. So he's officially part of the Rude Hullet Club. And wow, this is a very, very nice card in my opinion. It's going to be tough to link him in. Obviously, the Chinese league, but Brazilian should be a little bit easier when you've got your likes of Neymar, all the different icons from Brazil. Um, so yeah, it's easy to link in due to the nationality around the league, but nonetheless, it's a good card if you wanted to bring him on as a sub. Um, yeah, like there's nothing really wrong about the card in terms of stats. Like 98 stamina is perfect um, for that central midfield role. Um, probably a little boost to his agility to get it over 90, but that is a pretty solid card. Uh, and currently coming in at 6:45 on the Friday evening when it's come out. At where is he, Palinho? 350,000 coins, so expect him to drop as well. At left back, we have Gunter from Freiburg. Five star skill moves, uh, 95 pace, 81 passing, 85 dribbling, 84 defending, and 89 physical at six foot one. Again, it's a pretty solid card. Like overall, I think team two is much, much better, and I'm now kind of gutted that I didn't save my packs from yesterday because, like, yeah, there's probably a slim chance of getting one, but. The, the players are a lot better, like 99 sprint speed on this card. It's a it's a very, very, very nice defender. Um, but yeah, it's currently coming in at 115k, so maybe drop below 100k as well. Uh, next to him, got Luka Modric. If you did flashback cruise, this is perfect to link next to it. Uh, 92 overall with uh, 4 star, 5 star. 80 pace, 86 shooting, 93 passing, 92 dribbling, 82 defending, 80 physical. Currently coming in at just over 450k. And again, it's an okay card, a good card. Stick a Hunter on him. It's going to get a boost to the pace and the shooting. So obviously that'll put three stats above 90 um, in terms of base card. 
99 stamina as well. Like his dribbling and passing stats are very, very nice. Like the short passing and long passing, both above 93. His agility and balance is good. It's just, yeah, I just feel like for some, because of that pace, people aren't going to like him, which is a shame because otherwise it's a decent card. Like these cards have been up for a long, long time now. So you go right to the end. And yeah, they, you see the ones going towards the sort of 450k mark here. But again, it's okay card. Here's another great card. Something I'm probably going to say a lot during this video. And it's a Tamori AC Milan centre-back. 87 pace, 88 defending, 86 physical. It's quite similar to um, Tapsoba the, from the Future Stars. Obviously by Leverkusen. In the fact that it's going to be an overpowered meta centre-back. And the fact that it links into so many of the good cards. Like Curtis Jones, like... Uh, James Tavernier, like a Nick Pope, it makes it so much more attractive to the sort of meta players, um, and one that's probably going to be full of nightmares. Um, and he is currently coming in at uh, just under 700k, so fairly, fairly expensive. And I believe he has five star skills. Five star skills, so another five star skill centre back. We had Hermoso in the last one. Now, the card that is going to bring back. Nightmares from FIFA 20 for a lot of people for his uh, Europa League Road to the Final item, I believe it was. 86, Ryan Kent, who is 5-star, five 5-star, five 97 pace, 83 shooting, 85 passing, 90 dribbling. I just look at those pace and dribbling stats. Like His base is a left wing or a left mid. They've switched him, so now he's got to get the perfect link to Tavernier, which is a great card in itself. It also links to like the Jones, the Jameses that I've just mentioned. This card is going to be absolutely ridiculous to try and play against. Like If he's coming off the bench against you, good luck. Because he's coming in at, again, 700k. And yeah, that link into Tavernier makes it very, very nice. And yeah, what else needs to be said about Mr. Ray and Kent? An amazing card. Now moving into League Un cards for this. And the first one is Yusuf Atal, 5 star, 5 star. 87, right midfielder with 97 pace, 87 shooting, 82 passing, 90 dribbling, 80 defending and 84 physical, joining the Rude Hullet Club. And yeah, he's only a right back, but that Europa League role to the final, I was using centre mid so much, even used as an attacker in the, uh, the manager of Masterpiece mode at times. This card is crazy, crazy good. Like 91 finishing in games, 92 dribbling, 90 stamina, uh, and coming in about 600k as well. So again, it's just... There's so many nice cards, it's just trying to fit them into teams. Like I'd love that card, because obviously we're going to get um, Foot Birthday Renato Sanchez tomorrow as well. So he'd look nicer to him, but it's just... Yeah, it's going to be hard for me to link in, because I'm starting as a 5 back because of the defenders that I've got with Mateus, Tapsoba and Cannavaro. I could change it if I wanted to, but yeah, it's just... It's such a nice card. Next up. Husim Awar, 4 star, 5 star, 90 overall with 90 pace, 90 shooting, 88 passing, 90 on dribbling, 80 physical. There's his in-game stats. A simply another is simply incredible card. This is another expensive card. So this is way over 850k at this moment in time. And then uh, how would I do it now? Let's see. Let's see his what you call it, his freeze card. So let me go on French special because I've got his freeze. Let's see. I won't be able to do the comparison on screen and game, but I can. Oh, actually, I can. Where is it? Where is it? There he is. Right, okay. So you look at him compared to his freeze card. So he's got a plus three pace, plus two shooting, plus three passing, plus three dribbling, plus 15 defending, and plus four physical. I think the road to the final card, uh, not road to the final, the freeze card, cost 130k to do. So it's obviously way more expensive, but yeah. It, what a card. That is, um, and I'd love to have that if possible. If you're listening here, drop it in my play picks. Um, then next to him, we've got 88 Emery Chan, uh, five star skill moves, four star weak foot, and another member of the Rude Hullet Club with 80 pace, 84 shooting, 86 passing, 87 dribbling, 88 defending, and 91 physical. There's in games. Again, you're probably going to want to boost that agility and balance acceleration up. So, again, engine sorted. Um, because his passing's good enough, his stamina, strength's all right. Just need that agility, balance, acceleration. Just a little, little bit higher, um, just to fit in with the meta. Uh, and this one is about 450 to 490k. It's moment in time. Raheem Sterling, to the first of two Premier League players. Yep, that's correct. And it is, wow. 
five star skills, Raheem Sterling, 92 overall with 97 pace, 94 dribbling, 88 shooting, and 86 passing. What more do you need to say about that? Like, look at his price, just under 2 million coins. I believe that's the most expensive of Team 2, and it's clear to see why. Like, the 99 acceleration and attacking position, 98 agility and balance, 92 finishing. What a card that is. And yeah, the English side you can build now is so, so, so good. Like, you can have a front three of Sterling, Endemnira, Rooney, Ryan Kent, a midfield of, like, Curtis Jones. My line's gone blank. And then defence is like Tavernier or Rhys James. You can have Rhys James and CDM using his other Future Stars card. Then you've got like Tamori, Nick Pope. Wow, like some really nice English cards in game. Then Adama Traore, another card that's going to cause absolute nightmares. Currently priced at 1.5 million coins. Oh, 89 overall, 97 pace, 87 shooting, 80 passing, 90 dribbling, and 89 physical. Like, you think his 79 card was good. Wait till you play at this, because it's going to be an absolute nightmare again. Like, high 90s for acceleration, sprint speed, strength, shot power. His finishing's got a huge boost as well. So you're clear to see why that's 1.5 million. And his skills, 5 star as well. So, it... My next card I'm going to talk about is Bernadeschi from Juventus. And I think this one that's going to go slightly under the radar. And, like, it's going to be underrated. Because he's got 5 star, 5 star, currently priced at under 150k, but links into like Ronaldo, Dybala, Rabio, Kadira, Alexandro cards. And he's got pretty good stats like 86 pace and shooting, 87 passing, 90 dribbling. There's the in games. You want to boost that finishing, so you stick a hunter on him and it boosts the pace as well. Like shot power at 94, long shots 94, agility 92. I think that card is underrated, in my opinion, anyway. Um, but yeah, that is the Foot Birthday Team 2, as well as the Objective card, and obviously we've shown the SPC Payet card. My top three plays in reverse order. Number three, and it's only because I didn't really play much FIFA 20, it's Ryan Kent, the 86 right wing girl, because one, it's going to get the perfect link to Tavernier, and two, I've heard the stories about the nightmares it's caused in last year's game. My second one is going to be a Tal. Just because of the switch, obviously, we've seen the right back roll to the final card. Now he's got a right mid that he's going to be fitting into that meta perfectly. Is he a right forward? Like, people are probably going to play him at centre mid or even right back as well if they need to. And yeah, even in a 3 5 2, it's that sort of right wing back, right midfielder. And then, mate, look, that will be an amazing card. And then my first card, I'm torn. So I wanted to include Paulinho, but I think there's more players that fit in the meta, and I prefer ahead of him. And it's between Sterling and Adama Traore. And because of the five-star skills, I'm going to go with Sterling. Because, obviously, he's had four-star, but now that card is going to be so good. Like, if he gets a team this easy, it's probably, what, a 96, 97. It's going to be an amazing, amazing card. But, yeah, that is my top three. Do let us know in the comments what your top three is or what the, your, your number one card is. Whatever you want, let us know what you think of it. But, anyway, now we have got my 83 um, times 25 pack and my 82 times 25 pack in the hope packing a foot birthday team two card or a Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, something good. Um, we're still recording, we're quite a long video today, so apologies for that, but there's just so much to talk about in that team too. Anyway, here we go. 82 times 25 rare players pack. Don't give me a load of dupes, but if we do, we're going to get some player picks anyway. We get the walkout. It's not a foot birthday card, it's not a team of the week. It's going to be French, striker. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. I thought it was going to be Mbappe. I thought it was going to be Mbappe. Uh, insert that oh no meme. Uh, I thought it was Mbappe. I thought it was Mbappe. Oh, wow, I've got so many dupes there. I thought it was Mbappe. Uh, one walkout in that whole pack, but some great fodder. So I'm going to speed this up, uh, and then we'll probably do some more player picks. <laughs> Okay, cool. so we've filled the transfer pile up, but we do have, what, nine rares uh, left. So I'm going to go ahead and do two player picks. Uh, and then, yeah, we're back for the player pick. So so as well as doing a player pick, instead of using the 84s and 83s and that, I've done a current team of the week pick or pack as well. So I've got that after this player pick, which will be trash. So I'm just going to discard, you know, it's a few hundred coins. Um, so we've got the team of the week player now. We're looking for the walkout. We're looking for Usman Dembele, really. 
Um, but yeah, you have to be very, very lucky to get a walkout, and it's going to be Ivory Coast. Serge Aurier, decent Premier League, so easy to link as well, and an 83, so not too bad considering. Uh, let's check his price. His price is about 25k, so you can't complain with that. Anyway, now this pack at Team Neo was so, so good. Like I think I got... Um, what did I get from this? I got something good. I think it was like an honorable mention or something like that. So, we're going to open it in three, two, one. Let's see that foot birthday flare. Come on. Come on. We get a walkout. Oh, it's not the foot birthday flare. It's the team of the week. Soyuncu. So is that an 85? So it's an 85 Soyuncu. So there's no foot birthday in here, which is a bit disappointing. But there is an 85 team of the week, which is good. Good fodder. I'm just praying there is a dangler. Like, absolutely praying there is a dangler. Would you be mad at that? Three walkout, four, well, five walkouts, including the team of the week. An 89 Neuer, 87 Immobile, 87 Robertson, 86 Sommer. Some 84s in there as well. On the dupes page, Sancho. Oh, okay. That's that's not too bad, is it, when you consider. So you got uh, two walkouts there and five there. So seven walkouts from an 83 times 25. It's pretty good. It fills the club up with some good SBC fodder uh, ahead of, hopefully, Renato Sanchez tomorrow. So, yeah, it's, it's okay. I'll take that and we'll store that in the club. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully it's Renato Sanchez tomorrow because I will be absolutely buzzing if that is the case. But, yeah, that is all I've got time for on today's video. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit that like button. Comment what you thought of Foot Birthday Team 2, what you think of the SBC cards that I mentioned as well, and the uh, packs that I've done, the Icon Swaps packs. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.